Tony, how was it that you had a camera with you when you were at war? How was it that you had a camera uh, with you? I wanted to go uh, with the uh, army. I wanted to become an army photographer. I applied for it, but uh, they did not accept me. They said that I was too young. So I could not become an official photographer. Uh, so I asked my superior uh, in my own uh, company if I could have a camera. And the captain, my captain said, oh, that's a good idea, Tony. Maybe at the end of the war, we will make uh, our history book. So, and he, the, my own commander, in my own unit, and my own company, gave me permission to take pictures. Was it dangerous to have both a camera and uh, a I, I uh, considered the situation and I said uh, first survival, then photographs. So I was careful uh, to make sure that I would take pictures when I felt safe. If I didn't feel safe, I didn't take the picture. Did you know what you wanted to shoot as a photographer? Uh, yes and no. Yes, because I wanted to take pictures of uh, the army. The, our movement from Normandy, actually from Mississippi, throughout America, then on a boat to uh, Liverpool in England and then uh, in Normandy. So I wanted to do that, but at the same time uh, I wanted to do something different than official photographers would do, you see. Uh, they would line up pictures where I took only candid pictures. I took events as they happened. I did not create the events. So that was the difference. Did you feel much pressure or stress? Uh, Were you scared? Uh, sometimes I was scared because uh, uh, I felt that while I was taking photographs, uh, perhaps the, uh, the Nazis uh, would kill me, would shoot me. So what I did was to uh, work very quickly. I worked very quickly. Many times I didn't even look through the viewfinder you know, like you are doing now, uh, I, I just shoot. What is your most striking memory of that time as a war photographer? Uh, the, uh, the greatest fear was when I was in a boat crossing the Elbe River and a Nazi airplane from up high came directly towards me and I thought he was going to shoot me in my boat as I was crossing the Elbe River but he didn't shoot he just came down uh, uh, maybe as far as these wires he almost hit me and then went back up and disappeared Tony, after the war you did all the pictures, like fashion pictures. Yes. Um, how was it to switch from war to something lighter? And well, uh, actually, uh, I began uh, my uh, photography by photographing. Uh, I was dating the most beautiful girl in school. Uh, she was my model. I learned photography 
with her name was Anita Arctander. Uh, and Anita was my girlfriend. She inspired me to become a photographer. So that uh, when the war was over, uh, all I knew was how to photograph women. So I, uh, I went to Fleur Coles at Look Magazine and I showed my work. And you know what she said? These are war pictures. I do not need a combat photographer. I need a fashion photographer. Can you do fashion pictures? Uh, so I remember the high school pictures, so I told her, yes, I can do fashion pictures. And so she hired me. Now, she hired me at the same time uh, there were three photographers uh, also wanted the job on Flair magazine for Fleur. Uh, Stanley Kubrick was one of those photographers. Uh, Bob, uh, Bob, Bob uh, was another. So they were all famous photographers competing for this job, but she gave it to me.